speech in which he called out expansionist China. Bhutan is now slamming China at the Global Environment Facility meet for a border dispute just a day after the Chinese unilaterally tried to change the situation in Galwan Valley. China at the meet made up a dispute with Bhutan over Sakteng century. Now, Srinjoy Chaudhary, our National Affairs Editor, is with us. Uh, Srinjoy, more and more countries now speaking up against Beijing. Well, let's not forget that Doklam, the Doklam incident that lasted 71 days, actually happened in Bhutan. So, is, if there is one country that has faced Chinese intrusions or with Chinese troops walking in and out of Bhutan at any given time, particularly the northern area uh, of Bhutan, uh, it is China. Bhutan faces this problem all the time. But the fact that Bhutan has spoken out is very significant. It's a very small country with a very tiny military and it depends a lot on India for a variety of things, economic assistance and so on. A hydropower and everything. So here for Bhutan to speak out is a very major thing because Bhutan has always stayed quiet. Uh, but it has to be remembered that every country has a problem in this area. And Bhutan will not forget those 71, years, uh, 71 days of Dokla. And this comes on a day when the U.S. has decided to send two aircraft carriers in the South China Sea. Srinjoy. Yes, uh, the, yes, the Americans have several super carriers in the South China Sea. They are nuclear part. They are, well, it's just not one super carrier or two super carriers, Pranesh. With every carrier, you have a complement of ships. You have destroyers, you have frigates, you have submarines, you have tankers. It's a battle group. It's not just one ship. So its footprint, if you can call it that, is enormous. The level of power a supercarrier and its battle group projects is really enormous. The fact that not one supercarrier group has gone, but two, is very, very significant. All right, Shinjo, let's leave it at that. Uh, thank you for your inputs. Uh, we move